Here we go then guys, I'm down with uh, Ken South from uh, Chrysler Products and um, getting on the 25 questions. Been looking forward to this one. So here we go Ken, you ready? What's your favourite venue and why? My favourite venue is any venue where there's no other anglers. Why? Because I'm antisocial and <laughs> um, at times I find it hard to tolerate people. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. What's your favourite carp catcher and also why? I think up until this year, um, well this year my, my favourite carp catcher changed. Um, I was fishing the canal um, in February, absolutely horrible night, pouring hard. Um, and I caught a 20 pound common and then I caught a 30 pound common and um, no one knew that that was in there and uh, special yeah. absolutely yeah and uh, I guess that that has to be the, the favourite capture um, purely because I caught a fish that we didn't know we'd heard that a 30 pound common had been caught but all the regulars that I know had never had a 30 pound common never seen a 30 pound common so yeah that was yeah, and the brace the favourite it? Capture. yeah Excellent. absolutely do you have any targets and new waters coming up? My target remains consistently the same and that's just to enjoy my fishing um, and to go fishing as much as I can. Um, the canal that I fish is 27 miles long so I wouldn't say that I've got any new waters coming up but I've got new stretches yeah. of the canal that I'm okay. fancy fishing. Different so. sides of the locks, yeah. excellent. Well, also on that then, do you have a rig you use all the time or do you chop and change for your tactics? No, I never really chop and change, I'm quite a boring angler and um, my, my, my preferred rig um, is, a, is a traditional braid, uh, at the moment it's super silk, um, I coat it in either down, down and dirty which is the new product that we're, we're, we're testing or good old drop them, um, a camazan B175 hook and uh, and a micro rig swivel um, and I can use that for a pop-up bottom bait snowman so the only time I ever change rigs is if I change over to a chod rig and that's purely based on the situation of, of reed. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll go back to this one we suppose we know the idea what would be your ideal venue in stock? <laughs> well my ideal venue would be a venue devoid of anglers <laughs> It doesn't have to be a big gravel pit with only three or four big fish in. Um, it could be an intimate little estate lake with, with with lots of fish. But I think a water devoid of anglers and a water with ancient ancient fish, old oh, fish that yeah. have been around um, would be, be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, then if you was going on a, if you were given ten pound. For your rations for a 48 hour session what would you get god i'd die <laughs> um, <laughs> what would i get for 10 pounds probably probably um five pots of kabuto noodles um yeah yeah five pots of kabuto noodles Is it, yeah. <laughs> what's the funniest thing you've seen while on the bank <laughs> Um, the funniest thing I've seen on the bank, oh, I should think one of the funniest things I've seen on the bank was last year when we'd done the first DVD at Criston and um, Dave, <laughs> Dave Chilton getting out is, is, is uh, the original aqua bivvy um, that he probably hasn't had out of the case in 10 years and hasn't sat up for 10 years <laughs> and, and this bivvy, at the time it was state of the art, You've got like a centre boss, and what you do is you then put these poles into the centre boss, like tent poles. Yeah. yeah. And then you then bend these tent poles, I mean, God knows the crazed <laughs> mind of whoever invented this one, right? <laughs> into a ground sheet and that. And, and Dave couldn't, and, and, and the funniest thing was, was Dave couldn't remember which way the poles went or what <laughs> way they went round. And I think, I think it took us over an hour, an hour and a half nearly just to put up this godforsaken bivvy um, and for someone 
the way I fish, I, I, the only time I ever put up a brolly is, is if it's pouring hard. And to, be, and to be quite honest, if if I turn up and I'm cast and I've cast out and I'm all set up and then it starts to rain, normally I just pull the sleeping bag over, over my head. But if it's yeah. absolutely relentless rain, I've always got my brolly behind us. I just often put the brolly up, no storm poles or anything, and just like chuck it, I look like a big yeah. turtle. Um, <laughs> so like... So, like, for someone who doesn't use shelters, yeah. to spend an hour and a half putting up a shelter... Oh. <laughs> Needed a few Boy Scouts to help you. God, it's the funniest <laughs> thing. What's the worst thing you've seen while on the bank? Dave's bivvy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. If you could change one thing in your fishing past, what would it be? Probably... Never to have come as interested in carp fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think I, I look at I look at people that can sort of put their rods away throughout the whole winter and sort of stay warm and dry in home watching telly and yeah. other things. I I look at other people that put their rods away and on and on a day off um, go and play golf. Um, and I can't do any of that. I have to, I have to be fishing as much as I can. Um, and I guess that's the reason that the style that I fish has evolved to where it is now. Because if I if I fished all the time, I wouldn't have a wife and a son. So I, I wouldn't go fishing. You know, I, I wouldn't have a wife and a son. So by fishing a few hours every evening or a few hours. Um, after work and not doing sessions or anything, I get I get to sort of fish every yeah. near enough every day, and um, I just wish that sometimes I didn't have to go fishing every day. But yeah, it's, you've I got the, the yeah. Bugs, yeah. Have you got any fishing heroes? Oh, fishing heroes! I think I think I suppose uh, I wouldn't say it's a hero. He's a hero at all, but. I just like the way he sort of fishes, and that's Chris Yates. Um, yeah. Because even now, he, he he just travels with sort of like one rod and um, his little wicker basket, and he he goes and fishes waters where that style works, you know. Mm. And in a way, although I haven't got a wicker basket or centre pin reel, um, because I wouldn't know how to use one, to be fair. Um, just using like just taking my two rods and my bed chair very often my bag stays in the car um, I sort of try to fish a bit like like yeah. he, he does um, so yeah I, I would say Chris Yates. Chris Yates do you think the changes in the carp fishing over the past few years have changed for the better or for the worse oh. <laughs> Controversial. Oh, controversial question that one. <laughs> well, we were talking last night, weren't we? Yeah. And I believe nothing ever goes back to how it how it was, you know. And I think when you look at changes, I think I think the biggest change, which has been for the good, has been the accessibility of carp fishing. When when I started carp fishing, it was like oh, they're specimen hunter. And it was incredibly expensive to get three hand-built rods, um, three reels, and three bite alarms. Um, and there wasn't bivvies, there wasn't a variety of hooks and materials and terminal and, and that. So I think I think the fact now that so much of it is manufactured and the price has been driven down has made carp fishing more accessible and I think that that's a really good thing because the more people that go carp fishing the more the, the sport grows the more the hobby grows people feed in different ideas and everything everything grows and it evolves and and that's really a good thing I think the only change you know and and I know people go on about cheap rods cheap reels and all that 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 makes it accessible so that's a good thing and you can always upgrade if you have to I think the biggest change in carp fishing that I don't think is good, and I really don't think is good, is this is this craving to be a sponsored celebrity, 
um, whatever yeah. angler, you know. Um, and, and I see people almost beating themselves to death in the pursuit of becoming a sponsored or a consultant or a celebrity. And really what you should be doing is, is beating yourself to death about trying to catch just fish. Just fish. Enjoy it. And, yeah. and that's why you go fishing. You know, you don't go, you don't go fishing to become famous. You you go fishing to um, to catch fish. So yeah, I think that's the, the worst change. What's your Bankside Entertainment? Other anglers. <laughs> Absolutely awesome, aren't they? <laughs> They're brilliant. No, they are, aren't they? I was I was fishing I was fishing a lake I was fishing a lake a couple of years ago, and I'm I'm fishing the car park corner swim. And um, this green, this green estate car turned up. Not only was it green on the outside, it was totally green inside, except for this little pink head. Nice. <laughs> Bloke gets out of the car, proceeds to the back of the car, opens up the tailgate, and I'm sort of sitting. Cut, 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 goes the barrow. Thought, oh, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Goes all the gear on the barrow. <laughs> Around the lake he goes. Ten minutes later, he's back, loading up the barrow again. Hoiks it round. Ten minutes later, he's loading it up with all his bait. This is a two-acre lake. And then he puts his rods that he can't fit in his estate car. That's has to go on a roof rack <laughs> on, his, on his car. Anyway, by the time he's done all this, I've caught a fish. So I thought, oh, rather than do a self-take, I'll go around and get matey to to take a photo so I went round and this bloke's got sweat dripping off of him it's like absolutely sweating and I said you couldn't spare a minute to come and take a photo he goes oh yeah mate um, can I just set up I'll, I'll be round as soon as I set up I went oh what yeah no, no problems mate sorry yeah yeah so I just come back and sat down hour and 20 minutes later <laughs> I'm sitting there Thinking, should I go around and remind him? Maybe he's got Alzheimer's. I don't know. You don't know, do you? Anyway, I then hear these footsteps coming, and he's and he goes off, oh. and like, I'm unfair. I mean, this bloke's like, oh. he goes, oh mate, he goes, oh, the ground here is hard. I said, yeah, I said it is, yeah. I said, is that a problem? Then he goes, here's when you've got 35 pegs to put in. <laughs> And I mean, 35 pegs, I mean, you're talking to a bloke that, as I've said, I don't use a brolly. If I do set up properly, and I mean, like, put my brolly up, I use three pegs. I use one storm pole and balance them. So, yeah, an hour and 20 minutes. So, anyway, he took the photo, and he said, oh, he goes, you don't bring a lot of stuff, do you? And I went, no, nah, but I've got a fish for you to photograph. <laughs> yeah, that's the difference, isn't it? Yeah. What annoys you the most on the bank? People. <laughs> I was going to say you going to... <laughs> People, they do my nut. <laughs> In a word. Yeah. You know, they come round and it's like... What wheels are they? Well, you know, the fact that they've got Dara SS written on them, there's a little clue, you know. <laughs> what wads are they? Well, the fact that they've got Century Fat Boy Slims written on them. What alarms are they? Well, the fact that they've got Del Kim EV on them. Yeah. You know, there's a clue there, isn't there? Um, that... That, that's a, it's not hello, how are you, how's it going? It's what is that, what is that, what is that? And then the sort of, the cliche question is, what's the biggest fish you've caught? You know, no one ever oh. asks you what the prettiest or the most meaningful. You know, that common is not the biggest fish I've caught, but it's by far the most meaningful capture mm. I've ever had. And it's almost, I wouldn't say it's even the prettiest fish. I've, I've caught fish smaller than that that were absolutely stunning. Yeah. And, I, and I just think people get, I mean, when I say people are annoying, I think it's not that the people are annoying, but they probably are. <laughs> it's just that the, the sort of cliched questions yeah. are, are annoying. Yeah. Right, it's a quick fire bit for you then, mate. Okay. Best film? Best film? Um, oh, 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 my son will hate me. Probably... Gladiator. Best book? Best book? Um, the Hobbit. Which radio station? 
anything that doesn't play modern manufactured music. Football or rugby? Neither. <laughs> what music are you into? Um, oh well, this 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 will be one for the for the viewers to Google. Um, Cabaret Voltaire and Brian Eno. Okay, here's a pointless question: Broly or Bivy? Neither. <laughs> Bacon or sausage? Both. Sweet corn or maggot? Sweet corn. Three more cats. Bream. <laughs> I hate <ate> cats. <laughs> Biscuit or crisps? Ah, oh, biscuits. Biscuits. Finally then, mate, what is your best piece of fishing advice you can give to anybody? Bloody enjoy yourself. Yep, good as that. Well, thanks a lot for that, Ken. <laughs> <laughs>